Britney Spears is continuing to put her 15-year-old son Jaden on blast on social media after he publicly discussed their strained relationship in a tell-all interview last week. Hey royalties, kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. You get royalty back with another celebrity relationship. Yes. To my returning subscribers, you guys are the re MVP. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please be a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you. Britney Spears said her 15-year-old son Jaden won't get anything from her in two years after he publicly discussed his emotional trauma and their strained relationship. In her words, she said, Do you guys want me to get better so I can continue to give your dad 40 grand a month? Or is the reason behind you guys deciding to be hateful because it's actually over in two years and you don't get anything? In the past week, Britney Spears, whose private family matter has been a topic of public discussion. If you missed it, Jaden, whom Britney Spears shares with ex-husband Kevin Federline, along with 16-year-old son Preston, sat down with ITV News on Friday to open up about the time and effort needed to repair things between himself and his mom. So to backtrack a bit, Britney and Kevin, who parted ways in 2007, a year before her controversial conservatorship came into effect, share custody of Jaden and Priston. Britney has long been providing the DJ with 20000 a month for each of the boys in child support, while also covering their school, insurance, and clothing expenses. In 2018, Kevin infuriated fans as he requested an increase on this payment from Britney, who was still living under the constraint of legal arrangement. More recently, Kevin sparked backlash as he opened up about Britney's relationship with her sons during an interview with the Daily Mail. He claimed that Jaden and Priston were uncomfortable with the singer's minimally censored nude Instagram photos while suggesting that her father, Jamie Spears, saved her life in spite of Britney's numerous accusations that he has been abusive towards her. Kevin also discussed Jaden and Priston's decision to stop seeing Britney, telling the outlet that they had made the decision not to go to her and Sam Ashgari's wedding in June. The boys have decided that they are not seeing her right now, he said. It's been a few months since they've seen her. They made the decision not to go to her wedding. To further explain the DJ's words, his son Jaden, in a recent interview with ITV done last week, said that while he's really happy for Britney and Sam, he and Preston didn't feel comfortable attending your wedding because he didn't see how it would have ended on good terms. She didn't invite the whole family and then if it was just going to be me and Preston, I just don't see how that situation would have ended on good terms, he said. I don't think she showed enough to Preston and I and we feel really bad for that. We've both been through so much pressure in the past that this is our safe place now to process all emotional trauma we've been through to heal, heal our mental state. He further went on to say, I just want her to get better mentally. When she gets better, I really want to see her again, he added. Before defending Britney's parents and saying that Jamie doesn't deserve all the hatred he's getting in the media, Jaden said of his grandfather, I love him with all my heart. He was just trying to be a father. The 15-year-old also discussed Britney's social media posts, suggesting that her content is a play for attention. He said social media helps her, so if that's what she wants to do, that's what she wants to do. I'm not going to hate her for that, he said. At the same time, she should come to the realization of whatever it is that stops her loving her family. He went on to say, it's almost like she has to post something on Instagram to get some attention. This has gone on for years and years and years and there's a high chance that this will never stop. But I'm hoping for me that she will stop. So shortly after Jaden's interview went live, Britney shared a lengthy statement on Instagram in which she urged him and Preston to speak with her face to face. 
In her post, she says, I have tried my best at being the best person I can be, to basically being held hostage in homes under nurses and BS. I hope my kids one day understand my reasoning of my play in water, revealing myself as any woman would, being held under blankets and supervision under the conservatorship. Finally, at 40, without the restraint of what my family did to me, I say to my son Jaden that I send all the love in the world to you every day for the rest of my life. My love for my children has no boundaries and it deeply saddens me to know his outcry of saying I wasn't up to his expectations of a mother and maybe one day we can meet face to face and talk about this openly. Maybe dear child you can explain to me why our family would do that to anyone I helped. If you could pause for a second remember where you came from. I hope you can look in the mirror and remember you are my child and always will be. I would love nothing more than to see you face to face, she added before throwing a quick jab at Kevin, who she said hasn't had a job in 15 years and smokes weed every day. Britney Spears' response was quickly met with floods of positive comments online as supporters of the pop star praised her for speaking her truth, including her 28-year-old husband Sam Ashgari. More recently, on Monday, September the 4th, the singer took to her Instagram page to air her grievances towards her son Jaden, sharing a two-minute audio recording which she has since deleted. I understand why my family would have a problem with me doing my own thing. Maybe because I never have. I'm sure it is a little bit different and a touch lighter, me not being responsible for three 18-wheeler trucks with tour equipment and thousands of people to be responsible for on tour and dad and my Robin in the corner of every room I've had to be in for the past 20 years. So Jaden, as you undermine my behavior, just like my whole family always has with, I hope she gets better. I will pray for her. Pray for what? I keep working so I can pay off mom's legal fees in her house. Do you guys want me to get better so I can continue to give your dad 40 grand a month? Or is the reasoning behind you guys deciding to be hateful is because it's actually over in two years and you don't get anything. I will say it. I sat in that kitchen and looked you straight in the eyes, beautiful boy, and said, how come I can't see you guys anymore? Or just see you guys more. I look forward to seeing you, seeing you guys weekly. You said, mama, oh, it'll change. You and your brother left me in that house always two hours early. Preston would sleep, you would play the piano the whole time. And if I didn't shower you guys with gifts and have amazing food ready and play a mother saint, it was still never good enough. That one time I asked you, looking straight in your eyes, I wanna see you more. You called your dad, I never saw you again. I didn't do anything wrong and I know I'm not perfect, but the love I've given you and how much I adore you and your diplomatic ways, speaking like Paw Paw, self-entitled, this can be fixed. I will see her when she's better. Jaden, it was a miracle I could even have a normal conversation when I got out of that place. But you were just like my other family. You secretly loved looking at me as something was wrong with me. I didn't need a family hiding in houses and whispering shit behind my back, feeling subconsciously guilty because I paid for everything in both homes. I needed unconditional love and support. But guess what? The whole twist of it all. Which would have made a little bit more sense. I was in the greatest state I'd ever been. Because I was actually able to speak up 100% and say no. Presumably, once Jaden, who turned 16 in less than a week, is 18, he won't be getting anything from her anymore. Guys, what are your thoughts with the Britney Spears family issues? Looking at the perspective where these kids are coming from, I don't think that they want to judge her or, you know, say things behind her back or they are just looking for a provider or someone who would threaten them of cutting them off. I feel like they really just need their mom. These are young teenage boys. I can imagine they are concerned seeing your mom's raunchy post on social media it could be embarrassing for young teenage boys seeing all of those and probably being mocked with it or made fun with it in, in school with their peer groups it could be a lot for teenage boys to handle at the same time while i like britney spears music back in the days 
I also feel she don't need to put this out there. She should try to get in touch with her sons and let them have a normal conversation, be it uncomfortable or not. Let them have that conversation face to face. And there are her sons, just like she said, flesh and blood. They will always be. She do not need to respond via social media. While she may strongly believe that her kids are being influenced by Kevin, her ex, I do sincerely think that Brittany still needs help. She needs more help mentally and she needs to understand and place herself in the shoes of her kids and see where they are coming from. You know, very uncomfortable to see that people, her fans are championing her in this situation. These are her children and she don't need to be defensive or play narcissistic in this conversation. She should try to see where they're coming from. They're young teenage boys, you know, and just throwing the facts around that she takes care of them in their faces is totally uncalled for to say the least. And it's not even gonna help cement your relationship at all. It's still very clear that her kids have been very, very influenced by other adults around them. It's still very clear that they love her and they know that she's their mom and they want the best for her. They want her to be their mom for real. So if they're not wanting to be around her, it's because they're uncomfortable, you know, with certain things and aspects of her life. And it's something they need to walk through together. So Brittany still needs a lot of healing and help in my opinion. Kevin Frederline is not free of guilt. He has done a really poor job in my opinion. How do you put our son against the mother publicly in a tell-all interview? That is something he should never have done. It was wrong and knowing fully well that Britney is more like the breadwinner providing for her kids. My question to him is that if Britney is not there, if she's no more, is he not going to raise his kids? So putting them against their mother is totally wrong. They're young teenage boys. They do not know any better. So the adults here are the ones who have the most blame because Aiden can grow up and feel really terrible about this interview because it, it can just turn out to be a mistake on his part. Something he should never have done if he was guided rightly by a supposed well-meaning adult. But obviously, Kevin don't mean well for Britney. And this he has done looks really, really ugly. And he should never have done that. And poor Britney has fallen for this by taking a jab at her own son's womb she carried. Kevin don't know better. He's not a mother, but she should have known better. I really do sympathize with her in all of this anyway and still reiterate that she needs help. In all, the adults here who are supposed to be the parents, the grown-up has done poorly. You guys, that's my two saying what you all think about Britney Spears and her son's relationship and everything that they are putting out there in the public light. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point of the video, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell, like, share, and I will see you on the next one. But until then, remember to pray, work out, work smart, and slay. Bye-bye.